This semester's class is focused on two major points for the shift from digital to physical and back again to digital. We're working a lot with artworks that maybe start in a digital form or maybe happenings or performances that happen online and that somehow bleed into the physical world. And the second thing is, is the shift of authority. Your perception of the work is what the work becomes. We're no longer living in a time when the curator or the artist have complete control. Most people get their information on blogs or on other news sources and they don't necessarily have access to an actual exhibition because things have gone global. For their final project, the students will be creating audio guides for the Berlin Biennial, so I brought them to the exhibition today in order to expose them to the pieces they will be speaking about. We're at the Biennale art exhibit which happens every two years. So the artist basically created a Mexican flag which is very, very, very slowly lowering itself towards the water. And on the desk is a button which raises the flag, I think, a little bit. And they press it every time someone signs this pack which says they're going to stop using drugs or use less drugs or get someone else to stop using drugs as much. It's amazing to think about how much people value art, take it out as a concept because I'm not sure if you could really call this art or simply a concept or a way to try and get people to recognize something or to raise awareness or prevent an issue. It's a very, very thin line between art and not. She wants me to explain these flags. Do you understand them? We're walking right now through, it's about, it's about 20 different flags, um, which are flags of the different terrorist groups in the world. And as you can see, they're very colorful. Wait, wait, so it is about this summit where all these leaders of terrorist groups come together? Or, well, this is actually a group of flags of what we are told are terrorist groups, but really there's no international definition what is right of a terrorist group, because when you're in that group, it's not like you see yourself as the terrorist, you see everyone else as the bad guy, so basically no one's right, 100%. I walked into this room and I found this huge stamp, uh, it says State of Palestine on the wall and then I walked this way and there are so many pictures of people who um, got their passports stamped and uh, over there there's the, do you call it stamper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the stamper and it says um, State of Palestine, so I got mine here, I got another one here but um, unfortunately I can't stamp my passport because I go through a lot of Israeli checkpoints and um, I'm gonna like get so many problems but I really wish I could. So I walked into one of these rooms and there was almost a recreation of Christ the Redeemer and I was just a little confused because that has to do with Christianity and it was just randomly placed there in, a, in an exhibit that was mainly focused around Muslim countries so that just didn't make sense to me, and the whole room was kind of devoted to that. There was the Christ the Redeemer, then other Christ heads just sitting around, and a video of them building an actual Christ statue. Not all art is easily explained, and some of it you'll never understand, no matter how hard you try to figure it out. The students' diverse backgrounds have made for an interesting mix of perspectives on these works of art. 